People overcomplicate the whole real estate investing and the whole wholesaling thing way too often. And I know because I talk to so many newbies who just kind of get in over their heads and stop taking action. But in reality, you only need a few things to get deals. Uh, first of all, if you're new to the channel, my name's Justin Yurong, and I've helped hundreds of people make money in real estate. But I felt the need to make this video because I've realized that like everyone overthinks stuff. And I'm gonna talk about like really the three main things that you do need in order to get deals. And actually I thought even further, and I don't even think you need all these things, but in general, these are things that are extremely, extremely helpful to have to get deals. Now, it's gonna sound, it almost sounds stupid saying these things, but first thing you need is probably a phone. Um, ideally to call people, either sellers or call real estate agents or wholesalers, and then text people. Like those would be the most ideal things. Uh, if you have a smartphone, it you know, even better. But basically, if you do not have the ability to call people, you don't really have the ability to talk to most homeowners or even possibly real estate agents if you're trying to find deals on the MLS. And if you don't have that ability to talk to the homeowners or the sellers, you don't have a deal, you have nothing. So cell phones, number one, or a phone. Second thing is a computer. Now I thought about it more and I was like, I think you can do literally run an entire real estate business. You can run a million dollar real estate business from a phone alone. So I thought about that and I was like, I don't think you need a computer, but <laughs> it does help. And what you mainly need a computer for is a couple things, but one is to be able to analyze the deals and to pull comparable homes or comps to find out what the ARVs of the homes are. I know that's kind of a lot, especially if you're newer, but um, a comp is a comparable home that is like the home that you're trying to buy to determine what's the value of the home. And when I say ARV, it's the after repair value of a home. So it's like, what's the home gonna be worth after you fix it up? Now, to find the ARVs of, home, of homes, which is absolutely necessary if you want to make good offers. Most of us real estate investors and wholesalers base our offers on homes based on some form of equation or formula that's based off of the ARV of the home. So if you do not know what the ARV of a house is, you are literally flying blind. Like You, you do not know what you're doing. Uh, this is actually where most new real estate investors and wholesalers need the most work is they need to understand the numbers and like how to calculate the numbers. And I've made plenty of videos about how to calculate the ARV, how to determine repair cost, how to crunch the numbers on a home to make an offer. So I have plenty of videos on this that you can search my channel for, but those are the most important things that you're gonna need to do with a computer. So there's different ways you can do that on a computer as far as analyzing numbers. Let's start with one first. Let's start with how to determine the ARV by yourself with a computer. So there's a couple sites that you can use. Some are free, some are paid. Um, the first thing that I would start with, if you do not want to pay for anything, is Zillow. Zillow, or I think Redfin, or Realtor.com, I think it's Redfin, that they have pretty good tools for comping properties to find out the ARV of a home. Now, all you really have to do on either of these sites or any site at all, is let's say you have a particular home that you're trying to comp or get the ARV for. You have a three bedroom home, two bath, 1,000 square feet. So you have this particular kind of home. What you're trying to do to calculate the ARV, you're trying to find homes within a really short distance from the home. So maybe like a, a quarter mile radius, half a mile radius. So you're looking for homes that are similar to that home that you have, similar characteristics, the three bedroom, two bath, similar square footage, that thousand square feet, maybe looks the same, make sure it's the same one story or two story home, whatever it is. And the difference though, is you're looking for homes that are just like your house, that house that you're trying to analyze, except modern and updated and renovated. So you're looking for a nicer version of your house, essentially. And why you're looking for that is, the ARV is the value of a home of something that's fixed up and new. So what you realize is that if you're gonna buy this home as a house flipper, if you buy it for $100,000 and you look at all these comparable homes and you see a home that's sold for $200,000, but it looks just like your house and it's fixed up. Now you know that if you fix up the current house that you're looking at to that standard, you should be able to demand a price point of 200,000. So that, that's what ARV is for. Um, and you have to do, understand how to calculate that. So you can do that on Zillow or Redfin. Uh, these are free. Another thing you can do is, um, I use PropStream a lot of times to calculate the ARV on properties. Uh, PropStream, you know, it's just as good as Zillow or 
uh, Redfin, but I use it because I like to pull data on it as well. And I, I find that the data is better in terms of like comping properties. Like usually it's a little bit more updated. Um, both or all of these things, Zillow, Redfin, and PropStream, they all pull data from the MLS directly. Um, the MLS is where I guess all the all the best data is. It's where all the realtors go to list the homes for sale. And it has all the data for all the homes that have recently sold, sold in the past, active, pending. It has all the home data. Um, and all these sites, they pull directly from the MLS. So if you wanted to get the best possible comparable homes to find and value a home at the ARV, definitely use the MLS if you can. Like if you're a realtor yourself, forget everything I said, use the MLS to find comparable homes to determine the ARV. If you are not a realtor, you can find another realtor to help comp properties for you and find the ARV. You just gotta make sure you incentivize them. You just you gotta make sure that they have a reason to help you. So maybe you can offer um, or let them represent you on the purchase or on the resale if you go to flip the house. Like there's different ways to incentivize a realtor to help you, but don't just ask for them to comp a property and offer nothing because they're probably not gonna do it. So that's what the computer's for, to analyze the deals. Um, another thing that I guess you could use it for is to like use a calculator to crunch the numbers on how to like come up with a good offer. Um, I actually do a lot of my calculations, you know, on Excel, on a computer, but again, you could do the same thing on a smartphone. So that's why I'm saying I, I don't think you even need a computer. <laughs> um, you could also do the whole, uh, you can find and determine ARVs like from Zillow, Redfin, prop stream from a phone as well. So computer is probably the least necessary thing out of this list, uh, but you need some way at least to analyze deals and to crunch the numbers and determine comps. So those are the first two things, phone, computer. Now the last thing um, is some type of data provider. And what I mean by a data provider is you're gonna need something, anything that's gonna give you access to different homeowners and different addresses because you got to figure out how to buy houses from people. Now you can't just like knock, oh well, you can. I was going to say you can't knock up every single door in your city, but I'm like, you can, you can do that. So, but in that sense, you're the data provider. When I say data provider, anyone or anything that can give you a list of homeowners or addresses. So it could be something like the MLS, which is a good data provider. It's one of the best data providers. So if you have access to the MLS from a realtor for yourself, it's one of the best data providers out there. Um, another thing that you can use is PropStream. Um, I use PropStream myself. I'm not an affiliate for that or anything right now, um, but it works well. So you can literally categorize people or homeowners by like, okay, do they have equity? Is this a two-story house? Uh, you can categorize them by bedroom and bathroom count. You can categorize them by like if they have tax liens on it, if they're about to be foreclosed on. Like you can filter a lot of these things, which is very useful. Uh, so that's one of my favorite data providers. Um, I guess you can use Zillow and Redfin too. Mm, yeah, it's not as useful. But another thing is like you can use yourself. Like you can be the data provider. You can drive for dollars, which means you can drive around different neighborhoods, identify the properties that are super like distressed or beat up and ugly. Uh, the ones that look kind of abandoned, uh, tall grass, boarded up windows, like falling apart houses, like those kind of houses where you look at a row of houses on a neighborhood and it's the ugly duckling. So you can drive by every house you see like that. You can note the address and like, that's your data. Like, so you're self creating the data. Uh, but you, then you, you would need a way to contact those homeowners, which you can either do by just knocking on the doors yourself or you can skip trace these addresses, which means you can get the phone numbers for these homeowners um, from different websites. Like you can use truepeoplesearch.com to find the phone numbers for free. It's very time consuming to do it that way. Or you can use something like batch, uh, batch leads or batch skip or prop stream or different skip tracing services to essentially take a list of addresses and find all the phone numbers for the homeowners, which is faster, but you, you have to pay money for that. So those are the things you need, phone, computer, data provider. If you don't have those things, maybe accept a computer, you're not gonna find deals. Point blank, that's it. Simple as that, stop overthinking. Hope this video helped, and if you want help to grow your real estate investing business, I want you to click on the link in the description below for a free strategy session. Peace.